you. Okay, let's get down to the real nitty gritty in this bitch. You see this little vent right here? These motherfuckers was at first sending chemicals and shit through the shit because they trying to kill me and my fucking son. Let me tell y'all, this bitch name is Robin. She worked at the job with my mama. She know every fucking thing about Shantae Shula going to the fucking hospital. She also knows every fucking thing that happened to my goddamn mama. Let me tell y'all why. I'm telling y'all the stories because she did this shit to my fucking mama. You see, my mama needed help with her bills. My mama couldn't keep up with her bills all the time. So, Robin know those stories. My mama got roaches from some guy living with her, and the roaches will actually come from next door. It ain't no reason, y'all, for us to have roaches because I'm a straight-up vegetarian. The only fucking thing that's out in my goddamn kitchen is seasoning. Ain't nothing else in there. It's just me. When you a single person and you clean, it ain't nothing else that needs to be out of your fucking house. For some reason, roaches keep coming over her. Okay, let me tell y'all the other part about this. The top of the house is built to Robin. And the man next door, Jesse and Lil LJ. The bottom of the house is billed to me. That's why my shit is three hundred fucking dollars. That's why my water be a hundred something fucking dollars. I can hear the shit through the fucking walls down here. Through the goddamn walls, I can hear the fucking water coming through the goddamn walls because they actually just using the water from downstairs. They not using the water from upstairs because that's gonna keep their bills low. They not using electricity. Let me tell y'all how I found out. This is why they put me in the psych ward, too. I found out because I went downstairs and cut all the fucking lights off. For some reason, the lights upstairs didn't never go the fuck off. I clicked off every fucking light thing on her. The whole fucking power. And the lights upstairs never fucking went off. So this bitch still think I'm stupid. You see what I'm saying? They think they fucking with retarded ass people. Let me tell y'all, I invented this shit in college when I was 17 years old. I wrote it. And one of the alphas had it in the um, in the notebook. So they've been using all my fucking writing to stalk me. They don't know they stalking me. They don't know it's me. You see? So when I get here to tell the bitch, I say, everything you do, all you're doing is telling on your fucking self. Every fucking thing you know about me, all you're doing is telling on yourself. This hoe still telling on herself. Down to the point where now she think, when I got out of the hospital, right, because this shit happened six years ago. So when I got out of the hospital, my mama actually had my son. My son did not get taken by CPS. And I said on my show, I said it, I said, on my show, I was like, well, why do y'all didn't help me then? You see, I don't need no help now. And this bitch still keep trying to put me on fucking drugs for some reason. So I just went to the doctor today. Y'all know I'm real close with the doctors because I myself could have been a doctor too. So this bitch really think I'm dumb. You see, so I sit in there with Dr. Super and I say, so listen, you know by looking in the fucking computer and so does Walgreens and CPS if I'm on any fucking drugs, right? I don't play with no fucking drugs. Only thing I do is vitamin D and I can't do iron because my doctor does not want me to overexert myself with no goddamn iron. So even in, uh, what's this place? The place where they, the psych ward, they gave me iron. Why would you give that to me? And I got thalassemia. I told them that already, right? And she said, I don't want you to have problems with yourself in this fucking iron. So, again, and y'all know thalassemia come from what show? Grey's Anatomy, because I have been a fucking writer. Like you see, I'm saying, I was supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be there to help them too. But this bitch and her daughter keep fucking trying to fight me like we in the fucking hood. Because see, we from East St. Louis, so that's all we know how to do. No, that's not all we know how to do. East St. Louis people know how to write, they know how to draw, they know how to create, they have good houses, all that shit. But this bitch over here next door named Robin because my mama kept mentioning that bitch named Robin. You see what I'm saying? You just stole all the shit. So now, whether she Robin or not, this bitch over here harassing us. Just like all y'all out here trying to act like y'all Marcus. Whether you know you Marcus or not, he a fucking criminal. Y'all want to act like Brandon Clark. Whether you know it or not, Brandon Clark is a real fucking criminal. You see what I'm saying? So you want to steal some shit. Claim a bitch name, and you don't even know who the fuck it is. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. 
All they doing is stealing stuff. They'll find somebody named that they think is theirs, just like Michaela. She is a real life crackhead. So her daughter name is Michaela. You see what I'm saying? But the real Michaela is a real life fucking crackhead. So how this bitch got anything about me and anything else? And I'm living right next door to you. So she the one sending out messages to motherfuckers too. Because she the closest motherfucker that gonna hurt anything that happened in my goddamn house. Y'all see what I'm saying? And it's not only through this vent. If vent, if I go downstairs, she hear shit through the walls too. But I can't never hear nothing that they fucking talking about. Nothing. I can't hear shit they talking about. I don't even care if I can hear it. Because I know it ain't shit of substance. So why the fuck would I waste my goddamn time trying to figure out what the fuck you trying to say for nothing? Because that's not what the shit was supposed to be used for. You see? That's not what it's used for. That's